गुज बम्स हलोड लैंड मनस्टार ब्लाड फर ब्रेकफास आर एल स्टाइन चैप्टर फोर माई हार्ट स्कीप ए बीट आई कूडेंट टेक द ब्लेम फर ब्रैडलि एगेन सीटिंग वाज सीरियस इन आवर स्कूल आई नि आई कूड वि सपेन्डेड फर दिस एंड देन ह्वाट अबाउट द सुईम मिट माई टीम मेट्स वेर अल काउंटिंग ऑन मी इट वाज द चैम्पियनशिप द बिगेस्ट मिट अफ माई लाइफ एंड ह्वाट उड मम एंड डैड से इफ आई वज फोर्स टू मिस इट हाउ कूड ब्रैडलि डू दिस टू मी मैट ब्रैडलि पुट डाउन योर पेन्सिल्स मिस्टर स्कोटो सेट आई नीड टू टक टू यू बोथ हि ओब आस टू द फ्रंट अफ द रूम आई कूड बेयरलि ब्रिथ आई डिडेंट बिलीव दिस वज हेपनी नो बिगी ब्रैडलि उपार्ड फलोईंग मी टू द पॉइंट अफ द रूम हि लाभ्स यू यू कैन टक आस आउट अफ दिस मिस्टर स्कोटो Rub a hand over this short hair. He eyed us both, shaking his head. I do not allow sitters in my class. He said sharply, "I would like you both to go stand in the hall till the test is over. You both get zeros, but but I spurred. It's not my fault. I didn't do anything. It was Britley. He, Mr. Escoto, raised a hand to silence me." not another word he said you know how i feel about talking responsibility he wouldn't listen to me i haven't decided he replied i glared furiously at bradley he stood there with a stupid grin on his face bradley will probably say no biggy when we get out of the hell i thought and i will <coughs> I will have no choice. I will have to punch his lights out, and then I really will be suspended for good. And then I will have to punch his lights out again. Mr. Escoto held the classroom door open, still grinning. Bradley stepped out into the hall. I stepped through the door. Mr. Escoto floored me. Floored me. Listen, mate. He. whispered it's nice of you to try to help bradley but didn't take it too far i stared at him you don't have to sit to help him mr escoto continued this is strike two matt i don't understand what gotten into you i know you must be tense about the swim meet one more strike and i will have to dismiss you i will have no choice i will have to suspend you from school but mr escoto i he closed the classroom door behind me and i glanced up and down the hall empty i heard voices and laughter from the next classroom bradley lunged against a locker i stormed over to him and grabbed him by the front of his t-shirt why did you do this i crawled why did you copy my answer he still had that sick grin on his face you are the math king right he said who else am i going to copy after school i picked up livy from sandy hills elementary and we walked home she began kid bumming me and with her backpack trying to trip me livy is 8 she thinks that stuff is funny but i was in no mood i started working faster to get away from her I heard you got in trouble today. 